good morning good morning you know what i'm gonna tell you to do before we get started stop what you're doing hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell so you're always notified when a new video goes up and then i want you to get your coffee and to get your word and let's get started Okay, so welcome to another episode of Pretty Good Coffee and Petra's Hair Doing What It Wants To Do. <laughs> Woo, that's lovely. Um, as you saw, I've already put my coffee together and I looked like a bum, uh, but I'm together now. We're ready for the week, right? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm excited. We did the Khalifa cold brew. I did the medium roast. It is unsweetened. I did the Chobani um, creamer. They had a new one, a caramel macchiato. This one is a plant-based um, creamer from them. And I did a uh, good value almond milk. Unsweetened is not even vanilla, y'all. It's, it's just plain old unsweetened almond milk. I did not have my oat milk. I did not have my vanilla oat milk or my vanilla almond milk because all of that is gone. All I had left was a little bit of Robbie's unsweetened almond milk. So we made it do what it do. And so that is what I am enjoying this morning. And honestly, it's really delicious. It's really, really good. The Khalifa cold brew is very smooth. Um, it does not have an overpowering taste. It is not as strong to me as stock. Um, the notes are not as heavy. Um, but it is a very good cold brew. And it is good for the price. Um, I think I spent four, four something. Because I got it on sale. So, and this was, I think, my first time trying the Khalifa cold brew. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, y'all. But I don't think I am. Um, and it was very good. It is very good. It has a chocolatey undertone, um, which is bomb. I love that. Um, but it does not have the acidity that you usually find with a light roast. So, all good. So that's the coffee that I'm drinking. It is delicious. And I'm down to the dregs of it because, y'all, I have been running this morning already. And my day um, is not even fully started. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay. Um, so I'm excited about that. So drop in the comments below if you had a uh, Khalifa or a Khalifa. I don't know how they pronounce it, but I'm going to say Khalifa. Okay. If you have had their cold brew before and what you thought about it, if you haven't, let me know if you're going to try it. And definitely try the Chobani creamers. Y'all know it's my favorite, favorite, favorite creamer. Um, all of the flavors are bomb. And this one is good as well. It is... They also have a salted caramel. This is not that. So it is very much so a caramel taste. It has kind of a smoky-ish um, undertone to it. It is plant-based, so keep that in mind. So it is not, it's not gonna give you the same vibes as a regular creamer, okay? So it's not the same type of creaminess, but it is good. It's very good. All right, we talked about the coffee. We talked about the creamer and y'all are bouncing and bumping um, as I go over the, <laughs> this road, but that's okay. It's cool. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. I'm trying to make sure y'all don't fall. But we're gonna do 2 Timothy um, 2. We're gonna do two verses from there. If you have seen um, the recent pretty moment where I talked about focus, um, this is one of the chapters that, chapters that I suggested that you read um, this past uh, weekend. This past weekend, and it is. Oh, it's, it's so powerful, and I hope that you did read it. And if you haven't, go read it. And if you're not signed up for the Pretty Crew um, newsletter where you get these exclusive Pretty Moments um, that are private, they're not posted publicly until much later, um, go sign up at heyprettylife.com to join the Pretty Crew and to receive the Pretty Moment newsletters. Um, listen, Jesus be gathering me, and so I be sharing the gathering <laughs> with everybody else. And it has definitely, definitely blessed me those minutes um, with you all. So, we're going to do, let me put you right here. I don't know why you guys are leaning so much. There you are. We're going to do 2 Timothy, uh, the second chapter, CSB version. And we're going to do verses 4 and 5. 4 and 5. We may, do, we may do verse 6 too. We'll see. But definitely 4 and 5. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in the concerns of civilian life. 
he seeks to please the commanding officer. Also, if anyone competes as an athlete, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer ought to be the first to get a share of the crops. We're going to do those three again. Verses 4, 5, and 6 of 2 Timothy 2. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in the concerns of civilian life. He seeks to please the commanding officer. Also, if anyone competes as an athlete, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer ought to be the first to get a share of the crops. That's 2 Timothy 2 verses 4 through 6. And that's the CSB version. And actually, I'm going to turn the air down a little bit. Um, why I wanted to share this on um, today's episode of Pretty Good Coffee is because it is important that we understand that to get to where we want to be, but also to get to where God has designed for us to be, you have to do it how he says. You have to do it how he says. It has to be about pleasing him. It has to be putting aside our will, our wants, our desires, and taking on his and believing that his will, his desires will encompass all of our needs, right? Because a lot of times we hold on to our own plans because we don't think that God's plans are sufficient, and they are. And there's also this truth that it really doesn't matter if you think that they are or not. You still need to be obedient if you want to elevate your life in any way. You're never going to see the fruit of your work unless you have done the work according to his plan and his directives. You have to to do it how he says you have to please him you can't concern yourself with everybody else and all of your extra stuff going on that's not going to work it has to be a soul focus on him and you also have to understand that this is something that requires discipline it requires focus that means that if you're going to push for something and go for something you got to be all in You've got to be all in. You've got to train yourself to go the extra mile. So it says he's not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. So even if you get to a certain destination, but you didn't follow the rules, you don't win. You don't win. In fact, you have a greater chance of losing it. And most times you won't even see a win at all, right? You're never going to get it because, you know, we see that all the time in games when someone cheats or tries to cut corners, they're penalized for that. And so why do anything that's going to create more chaos and heartache for yourself? Why do that? Why do that? That's not a blessing to you and it doesn't do anything for you in the long run. Just trying to get somewhere faster or without the work, it means it's not going to last right and you're never going to appreciate it fully because you never stewarded the opportunity to nurture it you never stewarded the opportunity to, to nurture it and so there is a time where we all have to mature or mature as the ladies say right but you do you have to grow up <laughs> you gotta grow up and you gotta realize that this is not about you it's not about anybody else, but it is about pleasing God and following him as he leads you and doing it when he says to do it and being obedient even when you don't want to. Because if you'll do the work, you will receive the harvest first. You will get the choicest things of the harvest. That's what it says, right? Like the hardworking farmer should be able to pick from the crops first. Not the one that just came at the, at the end of the season and threw some seeds in the ground and said, well, whatever the rain catches, let it grow and I'll get. Like, no, 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 no. If you have done adequate work, then you are going to get the, the spoils of the work. You're gonna get that. And that's, that's key, that's key. You have to decide now what you want. Is it to live a life that is full and that is fully surrendered to God? Or do you want to live a life that is constantly lacking, you're always competing with other people, and that you are not surrendered to anything but your own ego, which changes with the wind. And so you can never even please yourself. 
What's the goal here? What is the goal? What's the goal? It says, no one serving as a soldier gets entangled in the concerns of civilian life. He seeks to please the commanding officer. We are soldiers for God. We are here to carry out his plan. Period. Nothing else. Nothing else at all. Our goal should be to, to please him. To please him. Don't get so caught up in things around you that don't matter. Don't lose sight of the grand scheme of things. Stay focused. Stay plugged in. Do what you need to do. Do the hard work. Be obedient. Remain submitted and surrendered. Do the things that are required of you to get those things that you need and want. And what I need and want is a healthy relationship with God. What I need and want is to be a vessel for him. What I need and want is to really see my life fully poured out in the way that he desires. That's it. That's it. All the other stuff, that'll have it on its own because he'll take care of that. But we have to be focused on what he wants and desires of us. That's it. That's it. If you want to win, play by the rules. And the person who wrote the rule book is God. He wrote the rule book. So we can't cheat our way out of this. We can't cut corners. Um, and we can't half do anything. If you want to win, play by the rules. That's going to require hard work. But if you work hard and you stay obedient, you'll reap the harvest first. That's it. That's all I got. So, I'm so excited. I hope that you guys enjoyed spending a couple minutes with me this morning. I hope that you have some really, really good coffee because um, you're going to need it. Because uh, <laughs> it's Monday, y'all. It's Monday. Um, and then I hope that you will hold 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 4 through 6 in your heart and really go back to them and really ask yourself, are you a soldier who is only focused on following the directives of the commanding officer and pleasing him by following the rules? And are you doing the work of that? Or, or are you a civilian pretending to be a soldier and trying to cut corners by bulldozing your way through the line? That's the question. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, and I, it's all these potholes, y'all, so I'm trying to hold y'all. And that's what made me think about going. But if you have not gotten your tickets to the Hey Pretty Conference, go to heyprettylife.com, grab your seats. Um, early bird prices are still up. I don't want you to miss it. These tickets are selling, and I'm so excited to see you all in Jacksonville. We have some amazing, amazing things planned. Very soon, you will be hearing about our other speakers. Um, and we're going to have some surprises for you. So I'm very excited about that. Also, there are uh, there's still some availability for the mentorship cohort. It closes um, this week on the 31st. So go to PindarCreativeStrategies.com to sign up for the mentorship cohort. This particular one is going to be focused on multifaceted leadership. We'll have a fall one as well, which will be on a whole different topic. So if you are interested in anything leadership, anything leadership, then you want to be a part of this cohort. There are afterpay options available for you. So that means that you can budget well and still get what God has planned for you. Um, but it closes on 31st because we start on next Monday and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All right, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.